Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm going to show you how to program your memory seat and your memory mirrors in your Subaru with your keyless access key fob. So this is for any Subaru that has the keyless access and has the memory settings for your seats. It's not just on the Legacy like the one behind me. This will also help you if you have an Ascent, a Forester, or even an Outback with the same memory seats. So a recent subscriber here on the channel actually asked me about how to adjust the settings when say for example you've got somebody in your family who's really tall and you have somebody in your family who's really short and you're both commonly driving the car obviously you want it to be set to your preferred settings and just by having the key with you whenever you get in the car your specific key it'll actually adjust the seats and mirrors to those settings that you you predetermine before we jump inside the car if you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy super related videos then please be sure to click that subscribe button down below also if you get value out of this video it'd really help me out if you would smash the like button and if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comment section below you never know the next video i make may be the question that you ask here on the channel so we have two keys here this one with just one tag i'm going to make that one for the shorter driver and then this one right here with multiple tags on it that's going to be for the taller driver so let's go ahead and go over to the driver's side and i'll show you guys how to do this so obviously the taller driver is going to want to have their seat further back and also you may want to adjust your mirrors you can adjust them over here for the left and the right side to exactly how you want Make sure the car is off. That's incredibly hard to do on a day like today. You can have the door open though. It's about 100 degrees outside. And this is gonna be kind of hard to do with just two hands also while holding the camera, but I'm gonna do my best here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click and hold this set button and then click and hold the Subaru logo. This is the unlock button. And that will actually program your specified mirror position and your seating position to this key fob specifically. So I've got the seat moved back really far actually as far back as it'll go for the taller person we're going to click and hold set click and hold the unlock button you hear it beep and now it's programmed to the for the taller person now we're going to do the exact same thing but for the shorter person so now we're going to move the seat all the way up and then we're going to do the same thing and of course if you want you can adjust your mirrors as well before you do this. Once you've got your mirrors adjusted and your seat adjusted in a comfortable spot, then you go here, you click and hold, click and hold on the unlock button on your Subaru key fob. And now the key fob is set for the shorter person. So now we're gonna get out of the car and I'm gonna show you how this works. So we're gonna start with the taller person key fob. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the door and lock it. And we're going to put the shorter person key fob over here out of range. So now we're walking up to the car. You don't even have to have the, for the keyless access, you don't have to have the key out. I'm going to put it in my pocket. I'm just going to walk up to the car. The proximity sensor is going to go off and the door will open. And the seat, as you can see, is moving back. So it moved all the way back for the taller person. But now... We're gonna try it with the shorter person. So we're gonna make sure the door is locked. We're gonna go up to the driver's side, open it up. The seat is moving forward for the shorter person. So now you may be wondering, what if I have both key fobs with me? My key is in my pocket, my husband or wife, whoever it is that commonly drives the car other than you is also with you maybe you're going out to dinner you both have your key fobs with you she's got hers in her purse you've got yours in your pocket what do you do then how is the key fob going to react and i'll show you right now first we're going to make sure that the car is locked and i'll show you so i've got both keys in my pocket going up to the door automatically unlocks and the seat as you can see is not moving at all because if you guys remember this is the adjustment for the shorter person. And that's the last key that we had whenever we opened the door, whenever the longer person key fob was out of range. So that's exactly what happens. Whenever both keys are with you in the vicinity of the car, 
they're not going to, it's not going to program it's going to go based off the last person or the last key that was adjusted so it's not a perfect setup but if you guys didn't want that to happen and you wanted to make sure that it programmed to your key just whoever's not driving make sure they leave their key at home there's also a way to program your seating and mirror position with the facial recognition in some of your Subarus. So with the Subaru Outback and Legacy, you'll see this up here, the infrared bar, as well as in the Forester Touring. So you'll be able to have that option on some of your models, the way you tell is up here. And if you wanna see how to program that for your Forester or your Outback, you can uh, click the YouTube card above, or you can wait till the end of this video and you'll see the uh, videos there available for you to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got value out of it, please be sure to smash the like button and comment down below with any questions you have or future video requests that you may have here on the channel. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time.